I started taking different supplements regularly when I was 24 years old. But there are a few key supplements that I wish I started taking sooner, which I'll be discussing in this video. Do it! Alright, the first supplement is inositol or myo-inositol. Many people haven't heard about inositol before, but it's actually quite an amazing supplement. Myo-inositol, also called just inositol, is something your body synthesizes from glucose. Inositol has been found to have many benefits for athletic performance and glucose management. Inositol also helps to drive creatine into skeletal muscle as well as calcium into bone. For blood sugar management, inositol improves insulin signaling and reduces insulin resistance. Supplementing with inositol has been found to have insulin sensitizing effects. Markers of cardiovascular disease such as cholesterol and lipids have also been shown to get better after supplementation with inositol. Personally, why I like inositol is that it can improve muscle growth as well as insulin sensitivity and athletic performance, while at the same time having somewhat of a sweet taste that you can use as a sugar alternative that is not artificial and it doesn't have any adverse effects. You can get inositol inositol from certain foods as well, specifically grapefruit juice, regular grapefruit, peanut butter, and different kinds of beans. Adding inositol containing foods or supplement to your meal can lower the postprandial glucose response as well as improve insulin sensitivity. The second supplement is collagen. Now usually collagen is considered like an anti-aging supplement for wrinkles and joints, which you know you would think that why would you want to take collagen in your 20s? Well the issue is that collagen degradation already starts in your 20s. Starting at the age of 20 you lose about 1% of your skin collagen every year and by the time you're 60 or 70 years old you have lost almost 50% of your skin's collagen content. That's why even in your 20s you kind of need to increase your collagen intake for optimal anti-aging and for optimal joint health and skin health especially. Now you can get collagen from certain foods as well but uh, it, when it comes to the anti-aging wrinkles and just the skin health effects then generally that only works if you take low molecular weight hydrolyzed collagen peptides because they're small enough to actually reach the tissues. Feel how soft my skin is. Number three is gonna be TMG or trimethylglycine also known as betaine. Betaine is an amino acid consisting of glycine with three methyl groups added. Betaine has slightly different effects than glycine and it mostly improves methylation. Trimethylglycine supplementation also helps to balance the methylation and uh, methionine. If you're not getting enough glycine or trimethylglycine, then you might get too much methionine, which most people generally are if they're eating muscle meat. And that can raise homocysteine and cause methionine toxicity, which in excess has been found to uh, be associated with accelerated aging in other animals. But this is not the only reason why I take TMG as a supplement. TMG has also been found to improve uh, muscle strength and muscle power. In young soccer players, 14 weeks of BTN supplementation increased predicted 1 rep max, VO2 max and repeated sprint ability performance in youth professional soccer players. And this 2013 study found that uh, 6 weeks of BTN supplementation improved body composition, arm size, bench press work capacity and attenuated the rise in urinary homocysteine theolactone and also intended to improve power. So as someone in my 20s, I already took creatine at that time. I was already taking creatine in my early 20s and uh, something that I didn't take at that time was TMG. So uh, TMG can be useful for helping with creatine and you know you combine it with inositol and glycine as well which then support creatine synthesis as well. So it's just a good and additional uh, workout supplement that can improve muscle strength specifically which is kind of important to focus on in your 20s and 30s where it's uh, quite easy to build muscle and strength. Number four is gonna be glucosamine, which is something that most people would also think that is like an old people supplement because it uh, it supposedly helps with uh, joints and arthritis and things of like that. Why would you want to take it in your 20s? Now, first of all, I believe that glucosamine does help with joints and the same reason why you want to take collagen. Your collagen already begins to deteriorate in your 20s and there's no reason why you wouldn't want to help with uh, maintaining your joint and bone density as well for as long as possible. But I personally have a family genetic history of some cardiovascular vascular disease as well so that's why I do take it as an anti-inflammatory and that is something that boosts the topology as a preventive measure you know I don't see any downside if I do have some genetics in my family for heart disease then why not take something that uh, can counteract that. Glucosamine is required for the synthesis of cartilage which acts as lubricant or shock absorber for the joints. Glucosamine has many trials showing efficacy for osteoarthritis. Exercise also improves cartilage content and improves joint function but too much exercise can also wear down 
down the cartilage. So that's why supporting it with some glucosamine and collagen is just smart. The optimal dose for glucosamine is around 1.5 to 3 grams a day. And the many studies that find no effect of glucosamine supplementation generally take less than that. But if you take 1.5 to 3 grams, then you do see a positive effect. Besides the joint health, glucosamine has also been found to have many longevity benefits. It's been found that supplementing glucosamine is associated with a 39% decrease in total mortality among 16,000 US subjects. In the UK, among 466,000 subjects without cardiovascular disease, habitual use of glucosamine has been linked to a lower risk of cardiovascular disease events. The reason for that is thought to be glucosamine's anti-inflammatory effects. If you don't use it, you lose it. And the last supplement on the list that I wish I started taking sooner is glycine. Of course, this is a supplement that is my favorite and I mention it quite often, but I only started taking glycine as a supplement around two to three years ago. Now, the biggest reason has to do with the benefits of collagen as well as glutathione and creatine synthesis, but uh, glycine also is one of the ones that balances methionine. So glycine can be used as a sleep supplement, it can be used as a metabolic and insulin sensitivity supplement, it can be used for athletic performance, it can be used as a longevity supplement that helps to increase autophagy and mimic methionine restriction, and it also is a longevity supplement in terms of boosting glutathione. So definitely check out my other video about the longevity benefits of glycine. But if you do want to slow down aging and live longer, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological age. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.